Welcome to Stop Paying Capital Gains Now, where guests will share their experiences in saving money easily with this uh, spendthrift trust. The real name for the trust is Irrevocable Complex Discretionary Non-Grantor Spendthrift Trust. Capital gains are currently 23.8% on any profits, be it a crypto investor, crypto miner, real estate investor, day trader, forex, stock market trader. Your guest is Sally Gimmick, and I want to make sure that you can learn how to save money easily. Hi, my name is Sally Gimmick, and I want to say thank you for listening to my podcast, Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. If you want to find out more information, the website is uh, the trust is you.com. Again, you is spelled Y O U. So the trust is you.com. Today, I want to talk to you about a gentleman I just had a conversation with who's very concerned because he just did his 2022 taxes and he's paying an awful lot in rental income. Now, the Spendthrift Trust is legal, patented, and in the IRS code uh, is under 643B, like Bravo. Again, it's 643B, like boy. There are two trusts. One trust is for 1099 income earners. You can save up to 70% on your federal taxes year after year after year. And then there's a spendthrift trust that will stop the following taxes year after year. Capital gains, short-term or long-term. Interest income. Uh, that is in case if you're doing Forex investing, you're doing the birth strategy, or I invest in notes, or I'm the mortgage on the house and people pay me the mortgage, that's interest income. Dividend income, if you're in the stock market or in options trading or futures trading, that's there. Rental income, this is why uh, this gentleman reached out to me because he knows he's got 12 doors and he's making over $172,800 a year in rental income. Congratulations to him. This is why we had a conversation. And then royalties, um, that's in case you are an artist, an author, um, a songwriter, or if you're in the NFT world. NFT crypto, NFT artwork, or NFT uh, real estate. So all of this is deferred uh, year after year by the Beneficial Spendthrift Trust. We did have a conversation because he does get some 1099 income about just having Beneficial Trust and then keeping an LLC for that. And I explained to him, I don't like doing that because it is leaving him open to being sued and it is leaving him open to paying taxes, uh, state taxes. If everything is in the trust completely, you are going to save federal taxes. You're going to have all your information complete, completely private. And number three, you're not going to be, uh, if you do get sued, there'll be no judgment because you own nothing and control everything. So this gentleman called me. He has 12 doors. Um, he has two uh, wooden houses and 10 brick houses. He wanted to tell me that. I said, I don't really care what kind of rentals you have. Um he doesn't know what his tax rate is. So we had a conversation. A short-term capital gains, 23.8%. Long-term capital gains are either 15% or 20%. He's planning on possibly selling his uh, 12 doors in 2023. So that was another question we had. All of them would be either 15% or 20%. And then interest income, dividend income, and uh, rental income is all taxed between 10% to 37%, and there's seven different layers in between. He's got to ask his CPA what his uh, personal tax bracket is. I can't tell him that. But he knows he's paying an awful lot in uh, rental income. So what we discuss is here's some, here's some numbers for you so he can save some money. At 10% of $172,800, I can do that in my head, but it would be $17,280 he's saving in rental income because oh no 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 i'm paying a lot more than that so what we're looking at is a, a um a 24 which is halfway between he would be saving over forty one thousand four hundred seventy two dollars a year every year with rental income with this trust if he's at the highest tax bracket oh, we, i don't know where he is he's got to find out from the cpa but at the highest tax bracket it'd be sixty three thousand nine hundred and thirty six dollars a year that's a, a major savings of money. So what he's looking at right now, just to give you an idea, he's got the rent roll coming in. He does have 12 different uh, LLCs in Mississippi. So he does not know how much he's paying to file his uh, K-1s March 15th. He goes, I paid at least $100, maybe $200. So I said, let's go with $100. You will stop paying K-1 uh, fees because you're going to put 
that you're going to do away with all those LLCs. He does have an S corp that he has some business credit on. It's going to be up to him if he's going to keep that S corp because of the business credit. You can slowly build up the business credit on the trust, but he does have, he, as he said, he's got two credit cards that give him 0% interest rate. He goes, I haven't used them, but they're there. And I said, that's your, cho- that's your choice, what you're going to do with this. But the S Corp is not going to have anything in it. He, he says he's going to think about this and that he's looking at how to move into the trust. So he's going to do, do away with the 12 LLCs, put all 12 buildings into the trust. If he does decide to start selling those buildings because he wants to get into commercial real estate, um, that he, he'll he sell those buildings at long-term capital gains. He understands either 15% or 20%. The other thing he know, he understands about with, with the commercial real estate, um, he, he wants to start making 1099 income. He is looking at several different businesses that he can put the money into, Fam, a family mom and pop shops. Um, we talked about maybe a car wash. Yes, Breaking Bad again. Everyone's talking about Breaking Bad. A car wash. He's looking at uh, 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 two nail salons that someone's selling in his hometown. He's looking at a pizzeria that uh, the, the person's retiring from. So I told him, hey, you can also talk to these people because, you know, if the gentleman's selling the pizzeria, he's going to pay capital gains when he sells that business to you. And he go, and I said, you know, I, I, I have an affiliate marketing thing that will help. If you don't buy that pizzeria, whoever does buy that pizzeria needs to know about the 1099 income savings, things like this. He's like, I have all kinds of people. Um, he's very well known in his uh, town in Mississippi, and he wants to talk to quite a few people. Um, again, I'm not saying this is a necessity for people to have, but to save with taxes. This is legal. It's in the tax code, and it is patented. Um, if I can help him save money, I, again, he's he he knows for sure he's paying over forty thousand dollars a year in rental income. He understands he can still take the depreciation. He can still take if he's got to replace that air conditioning unit or hot water unit, he can take that off. He's also paying him, himself to be the property manager for these twelve properties. I explained that would stop. He would no longer have to pay the FICA and everything else. All the money is going to go through the Spendthrift Trust, and the Spendthrift Trust is going to pay for everything uh, for you, uh, your water, your electricity, your car insurance, your health insurance, everything else, except for the three things, food, fun, and fashion. And he doesn't have to worry about that because he has 12 units plus his own house that is paid for, where he can do a demand letter up to the price, the, the, um, the, the actual value of the house up to that actual value, to pay for his food, fun, and fashion. And then he doesn't have to worry about paying FICA scores, uh, Social Security, state taxes, or anything else because he's drawing a salary from being the property manager on these 12 properties. His comment to me is like, wow, why wouldn't I do this? I'm like, why wouldn't you? So we had a conversation. His 12 houses are completely paid for. Congratulations to him. And I said, you know, to pay for the trust, uh, again, we don't need to get the business trust because you're going to do away with the 1099 income. To get the beneficial trust, I, I'm i not trying to get you in trouble, but I would take a gay HELOC on maybe one of the homes or two of the homes. You know, um, to get two different HELOCs and get uh, as little as possible. And then the money you're saving from uh, paying 1099 income, the money you're saving from your rental income can pay off those two HELOCs. He's like, that's brilliant. I do have an email that I need to send out to him. He uh, completely understands the trust. He wants to look things over. He, um, he's he gone to his accountant, uh, his CPA, to say, what can we do? The CPA said to him, stop buying so many houses. That's not the right thing to say to somebody. If you want to make a little, a little empire, as he says, he's in a, a small town in Mississippi. He's making his empire. And he says, now I might have to go to the next town over and start an empire over there. I'm like, I wish you well. I hope I can save you more money with that trust. So again. With the, the two trusts, there's a 1099 business trust and there's a beneficial trust. The beneficial trust is going to save you capital gains, short term and long term. It's going to save you uh, interest income. It's going to save you dividend income. It's going to save you rental rolls and royalties. I don't care if you're an author, an artist or anybody else or in the NFT world. Now, with the business trust, you're going to save up to 70 percent of your federal taxes year after year after year after year. That can be majorly a lot of money for quite a few people. 
Capital gains, short term, 23.8%. I wholesale houses. I do uh, what's called upset bids in North Carolina. I wholesale them and I, I uh, d- deal with capital gains. Long-term capital gains. If this client is going to sell these 12 houses, he would have either 15% or 20% on the 12 houses. He now thinks because he's got this, tr- he's going to get this trust for his rent rolls, he won't have to sell those houses. He'll have enough money to start doing his commercial investing very easily. I wish him well with that. So uh, uh, so rental rolls. Uh, so interest rate, dividend, re- dividend uh, income, and rental rolls, again, 10% to 37%, seven different layers in between, and royalties are between 10% to 35%. You're going to save this money year after year after year with the Spendthrift Trust. If I can help you, uh, talk to you, again, this conversation I just had with this gentleman, he's thinking about selling his houses. He wants to save the rental uh, rental income and then sell the houses again to commercial. But now he can probably keep the 12 houses and then get into commercial on top of this. Because if he's saving over $40,000 a year, plus not filing K-1, uh, paying for K-1 uh, filing taxes, it's going to save him quite a bit of money. Again, my name is Sally Gimmon. I want to say thank you for listening to the trustisyou.com podcast. Um, now I'm up to, I think, 18, 19 episodes. That's amazing. And then the website is uh, the trustisyou.com. This is legal. It's patented and it is in the IRS tax code 643B. If I can help you save money year after year, please reach out to me, set an appointment, or I do a live Zoom every Monday night, 8 p.m. East Coast time, where I can answer your questions too. Have a beautiful week. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. You can find out more about this at thetrustisyou.com. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get this in every other episode that comes out. We have lots of great stuff coming up, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thank you in advance for all the reviews and comments. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to serving you next week's episode. Take care. Have a beautiful week.